And my guess is that you are here because you have been brewing a coaching program for quite a while. I know at least for me, that is where I was. I'll tell you a little bit about my story before we dive into the content. So you are here because people are always looking to you for counsel. <laughs> Put a that's me in the comments if you feel like you are somebody who is like consistently getting asked to be, you know, you're a supportive person. People want to hang out with you. They want to ask your advice. You're a good listener. You are the go-to person for most of your friends. Put a that's me in the comments if that's you. Uh, maybe you're here because you want to finally make money doing what you love. How many of you are in the helping professions already? Maybe you're a, a nurse, a doctor, a daycare, a psychiatrist, psychologist, therapist, social worker, teacher, all the things, right? And you want to add value to the world in a way that, like in a new way that feels good to you. You want to make money doing what you love, which is helping others grow. Or maybe you're already in leadership. Maybe you're already in uh, you know, you're working with people. I was in direct sales for 15 years. You'll hear about that story. And I use a lot of these skills coaching my team. I've got those who are in leadership positions at their corporate world. And this, all the content here also supports them in adding value to their organization. So let me know if you are, are somebody that's ready to grow a coaching business or, or maybe you're already in a leadership role and you want to know how to get the best out of your people. So in this training, we are going to talk about some of the mistakes that I made when I was growing my coaching business. Now, yes, I'm going to like lift the under the hood and let you know exactly the mistakes that I made so you can build your business so much faster. That's the beauty of finding people who are doing what you want to do and locking arms with them because you get like to skip all of the learning curves that I did, right? and the three essentials for creating a lucrative, successful coaching business that scales. So today I'm going to support you by giving you clear steps to help you start the life coaching business you've always wanted to start for years. Um, and be sure to stay till the end because I'm introducing something super cool for you that you will probably want to be a part of. All right, so a bit about my family. Um, this is actually a pretty old picture. My oldest son is in seventh grade now, and my youngest is in fourth grade. Um, my husband and I had to do IVF for our boys, and so we often, um, you know, when Owen came out with red hair, we would joke and say, um, is he, like, did they mix us up with someone else in the waiting room that day? Um, but then we heard that that has actually happened to people before, and we decided it was no longer a funny joke. <laughs> and when we found out that we were pregnant with Eli and he was another boy, we thought there's another way that we, they, they'll look alike, but here we go. Two recessive redheads. <laughs> it's very funny. Never would have expected it. Um, but my husband and I have been married for since 2005. We've got two little redheaded boys and I was a clinical psychologist before um, I became a dream life coach. And I often say that camp is what sparked it all. Um, I was at camp for two summers in Port Jervis, New York, where uh, inner city foster kids would come to the camp and they would stay for a week and then go home and then come back. And so we got to know most of these kids pretty well over the summer. And I can tell you, they came to camp with their head down and their guard up. And it was throughout our time together that I saw them truly start to thrive. They felt loved and accepted and like people weren't seeing them through the eyes of their trauma. They were seeing them like we were seeing them for their heart and who God created them to be. And I felt like as I got to know them that I could speak life into them. I could see them three steps ahead of where they saw themselves. And I saw that change them. And this, my gut, my friends, is my what I consider my spark moment where I said, this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to help people know just how awesome they are. I'm supposed to see them the way God sees them. I'm supposed to see them three steps ahead of where they see themselves and then speak life into that. 
And this spark moment is what brought me into the field of psychology. I later got my master's in clinical psychology. I got my first job in a local mental health. And at that point, you guys, I thought I was like off to change the world. You know what it's like when you get your first job out of college and you think like, yes, this is it. I did it. <laughs> and all these years that I've worked so hard for, I finally have a real job. Um, well, as you can imagine, it didn't take long for me to feel tired, bored, burnt out. And I went through what I call a quarter life crisis. This is where I thought things like, what? This is where I'm going to be for the rest of my life. <laughs> Do I need to be here for the next 30 years? Like I was overworked. I was underpaid. I had secondary PTSD from like being thrown into chaotic situations. Um, I mean, over time I figured it out and, but it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a whole thing, you guys. And so I don't know about you, but I stayed in this position for about five years because even though I didn't love it, I had anxiety going to work. I would take mental health days for my own mental health. I also didn't know if the grass was any greener on the other side. And it was really easy for me to say, well, at least here, I know the paperwork. And so I know people who stay in this place that I like to call here for five, 10, 30, 50 years, right? Where they stay in a place that they don't love just because it feels comfortable. Now, how many of you have been in that situation before where your soul is saying something like, it's time to move on, it's time to break through, um, but it feels scary and it feels challenging and you're not quite sure. And so you second guess and you stay where you are. Well, thankfully, I didn't always stay where I it was. After about five years of working in community mental health, I stepped into building my side business, my online coaching business. First, I started in network marketing, and then I was able to move into dream life coaching, write several books, work with Jack Canfield and John Maxwell, um, pay off our house. My husband and I both were able to quit our full-time jobs, and we've been doing this work full time since 2010. So 13 years of not having to punch into a clock, but being able to create my own schedule, doing something that I love. And so that's what I'm going to tell you about today is how I was able to go from this restlessness, this insecurity, this, I wish I want, but I'm scared attitude, right. And trying and figuring it out along the way. And my guarantee to you is that because of the, the lessons I learned, you are going to create your coaching business 10 times faster because you're just going to be able to jump through the hoops um, with the process that we've created. So one thing to consider is I think that some, like, there's a couple things here. This is the mountaintop, right? A mountaintop is uh, when you have kind of come to all that you have been able to learn in your career. Maybe you're a teacher, maybe you're a nurse, maybe you're a leader in network marketing. You've gotten to the top um, or you feel like you've gleaned all that you can glean. You're a nurse, you are a, whatever it is, you have ex gotten to the top. There's two things that I want you to recognize here. Number one, the coaching business is going to feel new because it is new. And it may feel like you're going back to the bottom. I thought that I was at the top of my career and I could go from mountaintop to mountaintop without any learning curve. And that's just not how it works. You are gonna be able to take all of your experience here and all of the wisdom as a teacher, as a nurse, as a lawyer, as a stay-at-home mom, as a health, health coach, as a personal trainer, you're gonna be able to take all of that wisdom and create a coaching business, but it's going to feel like you're starting at the bottom. What I want you to remember is that you're not. You actually come into the coaching world with all of your gifts, experience, your wisdom, your all of the things, all the tools that got you to where you are now, you come with that experience. So even though the coaching world may be new for you, it may feel like you're kind of starting at the bottom. Remind yourself that you are creating a coaching business because of the experience that you have. All right, so essential one. Essential tip number one, you guys, this will be recorded, but be sure to take notes and ask questions along the way. I'm trying to stay tuned to the comments. 
Essential number one is a specific program that solves a specific result. So the problem that I had when I first started my coaching business is that I knew that I could help anyone. I really, like I'm a therapist, right? So ask me a question, like I can help you. Do you have depression or anxiety? I can help you. Do you want to write a book? I can help you. Do you want to, you know, learn sales? I can help you. Like, so I really, when I thought, when I, when I created my program, I thought I can help anybody who wants help. And what I found is that that is not marketable. In order to market your program well, you want one problem, one program that solves a specific problem. And you can make millions in that niche. I have a friend who has one, who has one program for one problem. She is Her program is how, teaching babies how to sleep for ages zero to 18. And she's a multi- millionaire with this program, right? And so you don't need to have a ton of things you offer. You need to have one really pointed offer that allows you to market the pro your program well. And so it's, it's so laggy because I have like a million tabs open, but I'm afraid to touch anything. I don't want it to go bad. Like, yeah. Um, okay. So what I created and what dream life coaches get to utilize as well is what I call the dream life pathway to overcoming self-sabotage. So what I have found in my, you know, working with all these different types of people over all these 20 years of being a therapist and doing network marketing and leadership and coaching was that, um, Self-sabotage was something people could relate to. Oh my gosh, I do that, right? That was something that people could say, oh my gosh, I need help with that. Whether it be health, they self-sabotage with their health, whether it be relationships, whether it be their job, whether it be just living under their potential. Uh, so that I created the dream life pathway that helps people overcome self-sabotage. Head, heart, feet. Do you know what you want? Do you believe it's possible? Do you know how to go get it? And as I teach the dream life pathway to help you overcome self-sabotage, clients are getting powerful results. And the dream life pathway, it is it includes the traditional CBT, DBT, motivation, interviewing, family dynamics, attachment styles. It has neuro-linguistic programming, success principles, overcoming self-sabotage content, quantum physics, universal laws. There's a ton of stuff. It absolutely can help with anxiety and depression and uh, grief and all of these things, but it's concise and it's focused. What we want to do, you guys, is we want to market what people want and give them what they need. So I'm marketing the dream life pathway is going to help you overcome self-sabotage. And when they get into the program, they realize it's so much more than that. So my question for you to start is what problem are you solving and what is the one program that will help somebody get that result? I have a signature presentation that I do that connects all of this together. You see, I stayed in this place called here for far too long. And so my dream is to help you catapult from this place where it's, I, 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 don't, you know, I don't want to be here, but it's comfortable. That's what this place is that I identify as here. And then we have there a personal vision of your future that produces passion and all of the things that get in the way comparison game, focus, clarity, the how, resentment, jealousy, fear, limiting beliefs, time, energy, relationship struggles. And what happens is as soon as we get to the top of our comfort zone, we snap back to what is our deemed normal. This is our subconscious programming. Our subconscious programming rules the day. It's like the hard wiring in our body. And so we will always snap back to what we deem normal. So the question is, is we could, um, you know, try harder, right, to create a life we love and then continually snap back, or we could level up our normal. And so that's what we do within the dream life pathways. We reprogram those subconscious, subconscious reprogramming to expect and experience success. Ooh, Marie says, I coach how to write a book in 10 days to very busy entrepreneurs who are ready to tell your stories. 
I love that, Marie. You think of that as super pointed. You solve one problem and you have one program. And I love that you have the 10 days. So it's really pointed as to what the outcome is going to be. Results driven is super important when you're marketing because people want to sign up knowing what they're going to get. And so for me, I have 90 day U-turn. 90 day U-turn is the, I call it a loving kick in the right direction. We're going to overcome self-sabotage, help you finish what you start and, and, um, teach you exactly what you need to do to keep success going in your life. And so for, for you, that's my question to you. What is it that you, what's the problem you solve? What is the program that you offer? A couple of things to know about 90 day U-turn is that I didn't create the program until I had people in my group. So a couple of things to consider. If you are somebody who wants to create a program, but you're kind of feeling stuck. One thing that I did is I just said, hey guys, I have a program. This is what I'm thinking. Who wants to be a part of my beta group? And I had them come at a discounted price and I created the program like a week or two ahead of them. And the reason why that was helpful for me is because I then could uh, talk to people. You know, I could speak to them. I wasn't just creating to nobody in my office. And so I don't I don't recommend spending ton of time creating a program if you don't know people want it. And so one thing that I recommend within for all the dream life coaches is to market your program, get some yeses, and then take people through it. So that way you can do what's next, which is gather personal testimonies. Um, our personal experience. So one beautiful thing about the Dream Life Certification Program is that clients go through 90 Day U-Turn themselves. So they get a chance to go through the content because, right, coaches need to be coached, leaders need to be led. And we want to not just read a book and then do go do it with clients. We want to have that experience because that experience is what's going to build our confidence. When we know that we know that we know that this program is awesome, that the aha moments are powerful, that the healing is like freeing, that so much is cha can change in, for, in, in 90 days, the how will start to show up as your dream life pathway is in alignment. When you know that, game over. Like nobody can tell you otherwise. When you know that you know that you know that your program is stinking awesome, your job then is to talk to everybody and say, are you supposed to sign up on my program? Are you supposed to sign up in my program? Are you supposed to sign up in my program? And I think that's one of the differentiators, right, between Dream Life Coaching and maybe some other certification programs is we're not just reading a book and saying, go do it, but you are going through this, your own transformation. The first three months is about you experiencing your testimony, and then you get to become a support coach within 90 Day U-Turn, and you get paired up with some clients, and you get to see their transformation, not only within 90 Day U-Turn, but in your one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions where you get to practice the skills that you're learning, you see them shift. And guess what? Like your confidence starts to soar. I have seen so many girls get started as in the certification program thinking, I think I want to do this. I've been brewing on it for years, but I'm scared and I'm not sure. And they're second guessing. But with their own testimony and having experience and practice with others, they are ready. They are so stinking excited and confident once they graduate as a, as a dream life coach because they've had their own testimony and their own experience. And you guys, that confidence can be felt. It can be felt in your marketing. It can be felt in your sales calls. It can be felt in in the way that you talk to people. It can be felt when you're, you know, maybe at a BNI meeting or out in the marketplace and you're talking to people. People want to know if you really believe in you, if you really believe in the program. And so doing your program and getting testimonies, doing it yourself, growing your all of that is going to show in your marketing. A couple of things that we have are the Dream Life Adventures, which again is just more experience for you to engage in the content, but then also experience for you to learn how to host your own event down the line as well. Um, ooh, Marie, good question. She said, how did you decide what to create in your create in your program since you had so many things to do? Um I think the question is, how did you decide what to focus on in your program? Because like, well, there's a lot of things we can offer. And that's 
So true. I think one, a couple of things to think about are what do you really enjoy? What comes at naturally to you, but then also what will people willing to pay for? And then um, also the results. So if the program doesn't get results, obviously that's no fun for anybody. Nobody wants to sell that. Nobody wants to be a part of that. So you want to make sure your program delivers on what it says you are going to deliver on. But you want to think about those two things. What do I like and what will people buy? Like what's hot in the marketplace? What is something that people will say, oh my gosh, I need that. Another way to consider it is what are what is keeping your ideal client up at night? You know, when they're wrestling at night, tossing and turning, man, I wish, you know, my ideal client is a corporate woman potentially, or a stay at home mom. Who's like, I'm ready for more, but I don't know what I want to add value in a new way, but I don't really know how, um, I want to become a coach. I'm really naturally gifted in that, but I don't really know how, why, what, like all the steps. Right. And so, um, the dream life certification and business program helps somebody go from desire to like, actually doing it. It's getting that big dream out of your head onto the calendar and into the world. So here are just a few testimonies. 90 Day U Churn helped me fo form and stick to long-term habits that continue to serve me. I've learned to believe in myself more than ever. And when I feel like I'm doubting, I revisit the tips that I learned. I gained so much confidence. One cute thing about Penny, she did 90 Day U Churn twice and she was invited to go to Mexico. I might even have this picture in here, but she was invited to go to Mexico. And she said, if I hadn't done 90 day U-turn, I couldn't have said yes. But because she was doing 90 day U-turn and she had decluttered her home, she had lost some weight, she was drinking water, she was feeling confident. When that opportunity arose, she was ready for it. And so these testimonies, you guys, are my juice. And your testimonies will be your juice too. I was at my rock bottom and now I actually feel joyful and on my path. This exercise was a game changer. Thank you so much. This is only the beginning. I was named number one enrollee, in, enrollee, enroller. Yeah, uh, for the weekend. And so you're seeing clients not just shift internally, but it's actually shifting their life as well. You're seeing the outcome of their internal shifts happen throughout the program. And so if you currently have a program, one question I would have is how are you gaining testimonies? Isn't it a part of your system and practice to get testimonies consistently? And then finally, once you have a program, you've got one program that solves one problem, you have testimonies, you've gone through it yourself, you know that it delivers, you're excited about it, you want a personalized business roadmap in order to actually get it out into the world. This is when sales and marketing come in. And as you know, unfortunately or fortunately, right? Um, I know I'm a therapist at heart and I did not create a coaching business to become a salesperson. But what I have found is that the best way for people to get results is for me to talk about my program. And so I needed to learn business. I needed to learn some skills, marketing, copywriting, email campaigns, launching a program, social media, um, even graphics. Like there's things that I certainly was not skilled at when I first started, but I had to Google, how do I start a podcast and like learn as I go? So a couple of ways that I teach this within the certification and business program is to start where you are, because I don't want you to think you need anything else to actually get started. In fact, action is going to be your best friend here because you are going to learn as you go. So the more action you take, the faster you're going to learn. Ask yourself, is this tap into my natural strengths? Is this something like, what are the things that I love? Um, for me, I'm a speaker more than a writer. Like I love going live. I love doing presentations. I love connecting. I love um, working with my clients and doing coaching calls and 90 day U-turn and facilitating. I don't love making graphics. I don't love getting my emails out. I don't. And so I've found ways that I can stay in my zone of genius and outsource and hire out the rest. And, so, and it doesn't have to be expensive to do so. But you've got your program, right? Let's say as a dream life coach, you have the ability to actually take my program, 90 Day U-Turn, once you've experienced it and you've been a support coach and you feel like you know how to 
facilitate it. You actually have the rights to go and sell that to your clients yourself. Now, I think that this is pretty dang cool because it saves a whole step for you. You can take the content and you can create your own program 100% based on your niche. I've got clients do that, doing that all day long. But if you don't want to start by creating your own videos, if you don't want to start, you know what I mean? If you don't want to do that and you want to just make money quickly, you can actually take 90 day U-turn and start selling it yourself. And then what we do within the certification and business program is once you're certified, um, you have the rights to sell 90 day U-turn. And then we teach you the sales component, marketing, sales, copywriting, all of that. And the scaling component, which is taking your program and outsourcing the pieces that you don't love so you can do what you do best and be loud about your program. And so for those of you who are interested in becoming a Dream Life Certified Coach or want to learn more a bit about it, put coach in the comments below. Uh, and this is something that I am really passionate about because I potentially, like you, I don't know if you're like this or not, but for me, I thought about my coaching business for years. I knew I had value to add to the world. I knew I didn't want to just kind of sit back and coast. I knew that I wanted to, to create a community and to support people who are three steps behind me, right? But I didn't know how. I didn't understand how to create one program that solved one problem. I didn't quite understand how to uh, market and, and get people and get leads into my wheelhouse. And I didn't, and I I'd had to figure it out alone, right? Solopreneurship, in my opinion, is for the birds. As coaches, we have accountability, uh, community, fun, and a roadmap so you can actually get your program out into the world within the next year, making um, your side hustle money quickly. So the certification program includes 90 day U-turn. Not only do you get to participate in 90 day U-turn, but then you also become a support coach, which is a really great opportunity to practice all of the skills you're learning. You get the Dream Life Adventure Retreat, which is in Costa Rica this year. Um, we also are adding some two-day business workshop events throughout the year as well that certification clients get to participate as they are included. You get Dream Business, which is the business side. This is a year-long program because I don't want you to get certified and do nothing with it, right? I want you to get certified and then actually make money. Um, and as a certified coach, you get all of this included in the year. So I don't know about you, but I know that in five years, in 10 years, I want to look back and not still feel that restless feeling. Like I want to feel, I want to sleep well at night. I want to have extra savings in my account. I want to be able to travel and call it work. I know what it's like to feel that Holy Spirit whispering in my soul saying, psst, psst, it's time for your next step, but not knowing how to actually create it. That's what the Dream Life Certification Program is all about for to support you in creating your program or utilizing 90 Day U-Turn should you decide to do that and helping you build a lucrative business doing what you love. If you are interested in learning more about how you can come to Costa Rica, you can get certified as a Dream Life Coach, Put coach in the comments below and I'd love to support you. So my question, as I mentioned, is where are you going to be in one year? Are you going to be in the same place or are you going to be somewhere new? Are you going to have a 100K program, just one program that, that's bringing in an extra 100K in your business? You guys, that's absolutely doable and happening when you've got a program that you love and you know how to get it out into the world. You will create a profitable program, learn how to build an online business, get client results, and be living in your joy. <laughs> that is my guarantee. And it's time for you to step into your um into your, your new life or, you know, you're here because you're ready for that. So let me go back to the comments. 
Marie says, coach, yes, awesome. I will met, re message you a link and we'll schedule a time to chat and call. Uh, Janet, ooh, you are an eye in the disc personality. So you've got to learn how to use it. Yes, I think that's the thing, you guys, is understanding and recognizing our strengths allows us to stay in that zone of genius and know what we need to outsource, right? Uh, we need to, and what I help people do is create systems around it all so it can feel easy. So it doesn't feel like such a roadblock to create. You know, if you've got a podcast, you want it to feel easy or you won't do it consistently. If you want to write a book, you got to have a plan, a deadline. Uh, Marie, you know, right? The, like how you're going to set, create systems around it. I call it butt glue when you're writing a book. Um, and 90 day you turn helps you as a coach to overcome your self-sabotage and limiting beliefs. So then you can support others in doing the same. So no matter what niche you have, I really do believe 90 day you turn content and dream life coaching will support you. We have some people who are health coaches. We have people who are grief counselors. We have people who are um, working in the school system. Some are are working with teens and leadership. So there's a lot of different ways to use the content, uh, but I think everybody over like could use help in overcoming self-sabotage and really understand how our brain and body work. It's fascinating. All right, let me see what other, yes, amen. Marie says, thank you, Holy Spirit, amen. All right, so she also published a few books, The Power of Social Media, Five Ways to Stand Up from the Crowd. Awesome. Yes, I look forward to chatting with you and hearing more about your current business and where you're looking to grow. All right. Well, here's what I know, you guys. You are in this group because you're ready to create a program that you can sell, that people want to join that you can sell, that you can have clients enter into your program on a consistent basis so you can help them live their dream life too. So I'm excited to chat with you. Put coach in the comments below and I'll reach out to schedule a quick call to see if the year-long program is a great fit for you. Have an awesome, awesome night, my friends. And I'll see you next week. Um, different time though. Next week, I'll be here at a different time. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but I love connecting with you each and every Monday. So be sure to put Mondays on your calendar. Come and check us out and see what's happening in Dream Life world. <laughs> Have an awesome night, you guys. Talk soon.